In this video, let's review from algebra some properties of exponents. So first property, if you're multiplying bases, x to the n times x to the m. So you have the same base. What are you going to do with those exponents? Do you remember? Well, if you're multiplying bases, that means you're going to add exponents. So you're going to do n plus m. Keep the same base, add the powers. What if you divide? So the second property says x to the n divided by x to the m. So we're dividing bases, and it's the opposite of multiplication is division. So the opposite of adding the powers means we're going to subtract the powers. n minus m. Anything in the denominator is going to be counted as a negative, or we're going to be subtracting it, in other words. The next one, we have a power raised to a power. So x to the n raised to the m power. And when you have a power raised to a power, you actually multiply them. n times m. So if those feel familiar, that's great. If they don't, we're going to practice them anyway. These last two properties are probably the hardest properties from algebra. And they're the ones that we're going to use the most in calculus. So of course, the hard ones come up the most. I'm going to put a star on these. I suggest you do as well. So we have the nth root of x to the m. Now, every time you see a root, we're going to think that it's going to be a fractional exponent. So we're going to make this into a fraction. And it goes power over root. So m gets to be on top, because that's the power. And n, the root, goes on bottom. So it is always power over root. I remember that the more powerful one gets to be on top. So x to the m power, m is going to be the numerator. And then the nth root means that's in the denominator. Power over root. And lastly, another common property we'll be using is if it's in the denominator, that means it's a negative exponent. So we would write this as x to the negative n. If you're dividing by x to the power, it makes it a negative power. Let's do some practice with these properties. So this first problem here, we have x squared times x to the third. So we're looking at multiplication. That's our first property. Multiplying bases means adding powers. So we're going to do x to the 2 plus 3, or in other words, this is going to be the same thing as x to the fifth. There's our final answer. Multiplying bases means add the exponents. The next problem here is division instead. So it uses a second property when you divide. Division means subtraction. So multiplication means add. Division means subtract. So we're going to go ahead and subtract these powers. So I'm going to do x to the 3 minus 6. Anything in the denominator is negative. So we're going to minus that 6. So 3 minus 6 is going to give us negative 3. And we can leave it just like that. Or we can use this last property that says negative exponents belong in the denominator. So we could write it as x to negative 3, and that's perfectly fine. We typically don't simplify in this class. Um, but another thing we could do is say, hey, a negative exponent belongs in the denominator, and put it there. Either answer is totally fine. x to the negative 3 or 1 over x to the 3, they're the same thing. Now getting to these last few. So we have a power over a root here, right? We have x to the third power, and we have the fourth root. So we're going to use this property here that says we're going to make it into a fractional exponent, and it's power over root. So the one in the power gets to go on top. So is it going to be 4 over 3 or 3 over 4? Well, it's x to the third power, so 3 goes on top, and the root goes on bottom. So this is the same thing as x to the 3 fourths. Let's actually jump over to this one here because that one looks the most similar. Again, we have x to a power under a root. Every time you see a root, it's going to rewrite to be a fraction. So we want to figure out the fraction to raise this one too. It's the sixth root of x to the seventh. So the power goes on top, meaning we're going to have 7 over 6. x to the 7, 6. If we look at the one below that, we have the square root of x. Now, I don't see the power written, and I also don't see the root written. I want to follow this same rule, 
power over root, but neither are written for me. So one thing we have to remember from algebra is that when the power is not written, it's really the first power. So if we just rewrite this, this is x to the first power. And then the second root is really the square root. Anytime you see a square root, it means it's the second root. So this one's one of the hardest ones to rewrite because unlike the one above it where we're given both numbers, we're not given the power here. When the power is not given, it's the first power. And when the root is just a regular square root, that means the second root. So this is going to rewrite to be 2 over 1 or 1 over 2. Power over root, it's going to be 1 over 2. The square root of x is x to the 1 half. I'm going to put a star on that too because that's one of the hardest ones. Numbers aren't given to you. Now, the one we skipped has a couple things going on. First of all, we have a fraction. So any power that's in the denominator is going to be a negative power. We want to keep that in mind. And then we also have a root. So we're going to rewrite it as power over root. So two rules in one. So first thing I'm going to address is the fact that we have something in the denominator. So it's going to be a negative exponent. So I'm going to keep that 2 from the top and just rewrite x to a power. These are laws of exponents, not laws of numbers. So 2 is just going to stay at 2. It's going to be 2x, and because it's in the denominator, it must be a negative exponent, right? That was this property. Anything in the denominator is really a negative power. All right, so we have 2x to a negative, and now we have to figure out how to write this fifth root of x. Well, we want to write power of a root, but the power is not written for us, so it must be x to the first power when it's not written over the fifth root. So one of the harder ones from algebra to remember. If you don't remember any of these, that's fine. We are going to use them a whole bunch, and you will know it by the end. But again, I kept that 2 from the numerator. x had to be raised to a negative power because I had it in the denominator. Anything in the denominator is a negative exponent. And then it's power over root. 1 is the power when it's not written, and the root was given to be 5. 